YouTube, welcome back to today's video. I'm actually super excited about today's video because I've never brought trading and AI together. And in today's video, what I wanna do is teach you guys how I am using ChatGPT and AI to further lengthen my fundamental knowledge in the markets and help me make better decisions in the Forex market. So let's head over to the screen and we'll talk about it. All right, so now that we're on the computer, guys, what we're going to talk about today is utilizing a couple different places, but Forex Factory is one of them for news and knowledge. Of course, as you guys know, for fundamental news, Forex Factory, at least for me, is the place I like to go because everything's at my fingertips. I've been using this since I started trading in 2014, so it's easiest for me. I just have a little bit more history with it. But what I want to talk about specifically today is these news events that happen that don't have any related stories. So related stories help me read Twitter feeds, posts, articles, videos, all sorts of things. If I go to CPI, I can see all the stuff in related stories, but what I can't see is related stories here. I want to know what was said by Bailey today. And what I want to teach you guys is how to utilize ChatGPT to help you understand and articulate news or at least decipher information. It's also acting almost like a research assistant because if you're trading and you have the charts up and you're busy, it's hard to know what's going on and it's nice to have a research assistant. So what I'm going to use today is ChatGPT. As you guys can see, I've got uh, the paid version here. So I would recommend, well, you have to actually, I can't even recommend it. You have to pay for this if you want this to work. It's $20 a month and I, I utilize it every single day for multiple things. But if I take a look at this right here, GPT-4, I've got this available. It's called browsing. It allows me to browse the web. Now, how this works is first and foremost, I gotta go over here to my settings. And under my settings, under beta features, I turned on web browsing and plugins. You have to do that as a plus user to enjoy the early access of these features. Now keep that in mind that these are early access and there's plenty of times where I've noticed that this actually doesn't work perfectly. You have to prompt it in different ways. So we'll see how it does today. But what I'm gonna do is I already have something typed up. Can you tell me what BOE Gov Bailey said today in his interview and speeches? That's the question I'm asking of this. I'm just gonna hit send. And what you guys will notice is that instead of an answer like ChatGPT does where it just starts typing, it's actually browsing the web. So I can click this arrow and it'll show me what it's doing. So it's searching BOE Governor Bailey's speech interview May 24, 2023. And it's immediately clicking on articles and searching. So what I'm gonna do is fast forward this video and show you guys what it comes up with. We'll be right back with you after these short commercials. Hey, it's me. <laughs> click the like button, click the subscribe button, and uh, thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. Let's get back to the video. Alright guys, so now that we're back, you guys can see that it's now typing the findings, almost like a research assistant, it's just been a couple minutes, of the same area that we were unable to find, the same area that wasn't showing us related stories. And so now it's typing and we're able to, you know, take a look at different emphasis points and summaries. It, it seems to give us this error message. It's just so new, but it was able to type out that. And I think that this is so unique for us because what this enables us to do is utilize browsing to help us sort of research. You know, another thing that happened today as I'm recording this, I'm sure by the time you're watching this, it's a different day, but that's okay. You'll get the point is today was FOMC meeting minutes. Of course, there's, I could easily click right here and take a look at the meeting minutes, but I could also come over here and I could do a new chat and I could browse again and I could say, please research and tell me what happened today with the FOMC meeting minutes and I could do it again. And going a step further as it's browsing here, I'm gonna go back over here and let this thing browse, is I could also take this and start a new chat. And anytime I don't understand something, I can always just come in here and paste the information and say, you know, something like, please summarize this in eighth grade terms explain things in detail for me. 
and I just let it rock. And what it does is it helps me as a maybe a beginner trader that I don't understand the fundamental analysis, it helps me to look at what's going on. You can see the difference in here compared to here. Andrew Bailey, who's the big boss of the Bank of England, said that they need to learn from their mistakes. Inflation, which is when price of things we buy get higher, it's really high right now, especially for food, is the highest it's been since the 1970s. That is extremely simple to under understand. And uh, then I can go back again to these other chats here. And as it does, finish browsing. This says finish browsing. Oop, I got to regenerate the response. I guess you don't want to pull off of it while it's doing that. But you guys can see now I can leave this open. It'll start to browse the web for the FOMC. And let's let it run through and find its findings really quick. All right, guys, so check this out. Now that uh, we have finished, it's now researched the FOMC meeting minutes. And based off the meeting minutes, here's the key highlights. Rate increase uncertainty. They're divided over the course of future interest rates. And they're thinking about it. Rate history hikes. And then it starts talking about how many times, 10 times for 5% since March of 22. Economic outlook. And notice what it's doing is it's then sourcing the information. So I could click it and I could go read into how, how did it find that information? Where did it find this? I think that this is going to make your guys' life a ton easier. Hopefully this helps you guys understand a little bit better on how to utilize ChatGPT to research with fundamentals. And as usual guys, if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys are returning to the channel, I want you guys to of course click that like button if you like videos just like this. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. I'm so excited we finally hit it and we'll see you on the next video.